Hi, I'm Jameson Colbert, and I'm going to focus on a man that changed the way the world understands gas. So who was Amadeo Avogadro? Amadeo Avogadro was an Italian scientist born in Turin on August 9, 1776. He was, a pi he, was pi he was a pioneering physicist in the field of gases, volume, and molecules, and his discoveries greatly affect us today. List five adjectives that describe him. Timid, dedicated, underrated, Italian, and very religious. What culture did he come from? Amadeo Avogadro was born in Turin, Italy in 1776. Turin is in the Piedmont region of, Ital of northern Italy. How did he become a physicist? During the first stages of his career, Avogadro was a lawyer and politician whose specialty was in ecclesiastical law, which is law for Christian clergy. Beginning in the year 1800, Avogadro started to study mathematics and scientists, and from then on, he became a physicist. Where did he receive his scientific training? In 1804, Avogadro became a part of the Academy of Sciences of Turin. He trained there for about three years and then studied natural philosophy at the Royal College of Vercelli. From 1820 forward, he worked as a mathematical physicist at the University of Turin. What events in their lives shaped their interest in science? Avogadro originally graduated from school with a degree in ecclesiastical law. At age 20, Avogadro made a change in interest and decided to follow the field of mathematics and physics. Where did he live during his lifetime? Avogadro rarely traveled in his lifetime. He lived and died in Turin. Most of his groundbreaking work and discoveries were done right at his home. So what did Avogadro discover? Avogadro discovered, or rather recorded, the Avogadro constant, which can be used to know how much gas or mol how much mass or molar mass is in an object or gas. The Avogadro constant boosted greatly people's understanding of gases and their masses. Avogadro also created the term mole. How did he discover the, his discoveries? Avogadro made his discovery by experimenting with multiple gases and found that at the same temperature and volume, the gases have the same number of molecules. The, what time period did this, this, did this occur in? The early 1800s, specifically 1811. This was a time of upheaval in Europe and during the time Napoleon marched through and conquered parts of Europe. Also during this time, gases, atoms, molecules, and volumes were only just beginning to be studied. So in this case, Avogadro was a pioneer in his field of science. How did the scientific community respond to his discoveries? Throughout the 1800s, the claim to his theory was disputed. Many people believed a Frenchman, André Marie Ampère, made the discovery in 1814. Furthermore, chemists didn't really understand Avogadro, while physicists did. Because of these reasons, Avogadro's concepts were widely ignored until after his death. How does this discovery affect and contribute us today? This affects us greatly. Avogadro's discovery helps us understand volumes and masses of entities, including gas. This understanding of gas has propelled us into the scientific world since 1811 to huge discoveries about all types of gases, their properties, their masses, and their volumes. What awards did he face for his what awards did he receive for his scientific training or discoveries? None during his lifetime. At the time of his discoveries and publications, molecular theory was not well understood and he wasn't really accepted. Only until after his death did he receive attention in studying. What obstacles did he face in his life? As said before, he didn't really m receive any attention. So this is a major obstacle. So the final question is, where will we be without Avogadro? If Avogadro hadn't made his discovery or wasn't even born, we wouldn't have the, even the slightest grasp of gases and their volumes, masses, their properties, etc. Amadeo Avogadro discovered an immensely powerful tool to use, and because of him, we now understand volume and gases.